This is the FM transmitter diagram. And if it looks familiar, that's because I did an AM transmitter. And here's the diagram of it about five videos ago. And you can see that the two are very similar. This FM circuit, the major differences are the coil. There's only six turns. And now I'm using a NPN transistor, just a general purpose transistor. And we're going to show you how to make the coil. And we're going to build this on a breadboard and then we'll show you the performance of this little transmitter. I want to make a coil for FM use. I'm going to use this AA battery as a farm. Let's see, and I'm going to need a tap. So let me get the cutters here. I need, uh, let's see, that'll be more than enough wire for a tap. I can always trim it down. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's see here, let's hold on to this and see if we can't slide the insulation back a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be successful or not. That eh, doesn't look like it. That's okay. I'll trim that later. Let's see here. I need... Uh, A little insulation off here. There we go. This is 22 gauge, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Okay. Yeah, that'll be plenty good. Now, the hard part is going to be where to put the tap. Let's see, I'm going to bend this like that, and let's see, we're eventually going to do six turns. Now, there's one, and two, and I want to tap right here. Let's see, that one's going to be there. Yeah, that'd be a good place for a tap, it looks like. That'd be one turn right at two turns. And so I need to mark where this is. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I didn't bring my knife with me. Well, let's see. Let's uncurl this for right now. And let's see if we can get the stripper to help us out here. Right about here is where we want that tap. Okay. That might work. I can... Yeah. That just might work. Let's see here. I'll get the pliers here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. And we can hook that. 
out here. Da, da, da. And what I want to do is pinch this if I can while it's not making it roll over. Oops. Be hard to do, but I, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to flatten this out here. There we go, I just pinched it, whoops, just a little bit, uh, not enough. Da, da, da. Uh, let's see here. At an angle here, and I can't see where I'm at. Oh, there we go. I think we made, yeah, we made some progress that time. Finally, okay. So, find the solder. That's not the solder. Uh, there's the solder. Let's see if my iron's hot. I think it should be by now. Let's yeah, it's hot enough. Okay. Come on. Get in there. Okay, let's see if that's really soldered. It's warm enough. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Clean it up a little bit. Not putting holes in the insulation anyplace else would be nice. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. That's more solder than what I need, but that's okay. I can clean that up later if I want to. Okay, so let's try this again. We started here. And then we go around here, and here's our tap. Now I gotta move this out of the way because I want to keep going around here. There's two, three, four. So, let me make sure I've got six turns here before I cut anything. Would be a good idea to spread this out. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, one more. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad I counted. I need to go around one more time. There we go. And now the bottom is going to be right here. There we go. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. And it's going to be on the plugged in. Something like that. 
the tap. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put that yet. I may shorten that tap quite a bit, but let me cut this off. Okay. Straighten that out so I can use the stripper. Well, let's see here. Uh, that'll be enough. Oops. Come on, grab the wire. There we go. Now the other end. Over here. Clean this up a little bit. There we go. And we gotta well here and our center tap here. Well, kind of. That's going to work just fine. It's all right if it separates a little bit. There we go. So we've got our tap and two ends here. And we'll be plugging them on the board just like this. Okay. And I'm hoping this will make a FM coil. We'll find out. Here's the build of the FM transmitter. There's not very much to it. What I want to point out here is notice how close the variable capacitor and coil are together. That's pretty important in getting this transmitter to work. I tested the transistor that's in this circuit and it has a beta or a gain of 288 and I have tried some other transistors one of them that was down to 215 as a gain and it worked just fine. So I would say that any NPN transistor that has a gain of around 200 should work in this circuit. Okay, the transmitter is playing and I'm driving it with this little radio right here. It's playing an old radio program. Everybody, doesn't matter what you did, you played innocent or guilty when it's all over. He says, 30 days. Okay, I'm by the garage now. Days. 30 days? How can I go to jail for 30 days? The prophecy, the prediction, it's all coming true. Madame Dozo said there would be a man dressed in black. That's the judge in his robe with a hammer. See? It's his gavel. Oh, we should never have gone to that crazy Madame Zozo. It would have all come out the same way. This is your fate. How can you fight it? Hey, cheer up, Tobin, my lad. I'm with you. I'm with you all the way. Thirty days. Next case. That's you. What's the charge, officer? Uh, assault, Your Honor. He threw a man off the Coney Island ferry boat. What's your name? Uh, Daniel Aloysius Tobin. How do you plead? Well, Your Honor, guilty. Thirty days. Next case. But, but, Your Honor, I wasn't exactly guilty. Then do you wish to plead innocent? Yes, sir. Very well. Thirty days. But, Your Honor, I have an explanation. No. What do you want to bother with that for? 
Well, isn't that we American citizen entitled to habeas corpus? I can't get under advisement. What I did was for the man's own benefit. And, uh, is this going to be a long explanation? No, Your Honor. It's most unfair of you, Mr. Tobin. There's a line of people waiting to be sentenced. I mean, waiting for justice. We have to keep moving. Now, did you or did you not throw a man into the water from the Coney Island ferry boat? Yes, sir. But I had a good reason. What was it? I called him off. Which is exactly what we propose to do for you. Place you in a nice cool cell. Thirty days. Next case. As we saw in the video, I was able to receive the FM signal all the way down to the stop sign. And remember, this is on a breadboard, so if you put this on a regular board soldered in, I would think that the performance would be maybe better. Thanks for watching.